morning, guys. I'm really excited today. As you know, we've been struggling getting furniture for the house over the last like almost two months of moving in. We've been slowly doing it. Anyway, like a few days ago, maybe even a week ago, we found this gem on Facebook Marketplace, this guy that imports stuff from Bali, like this natural wood stuff. And uh, last night we went over to his hookah bar in West Hollywood and he's just, the whole venue is filled with all these beautiful pieces and he's like, yeah, it's all for sale. So we picked out a ton of it, rented a U-Haul and, and brought it over here and we've started unpacking the U-Haul. I wanna show you some of the pieces, okay? So look, this is the vibe. Carved out of one piece of wood. This is uh, like a slab. This is called like wood slab furniture where they like leave the rough edge on so it's like a section of a, a tree. And then check these coffee tables out. Check this out, this is epic. And then some wooden chairs like this. So we've got two more of these coming. But, so all of this is cool, but the main thing that we've been needing is a big enough dining room table to like host parties, dinner parties, and uh, this is the temporary one that we found, which is like 50 bucks, and it's kind of made of plastic and it's not great. And then we found these chairs on the street, if you watch my vlog. So anyway, we got an, a an eight foot long single section slab of wood, like this thick. It takes four people to carry it and we couldn't bring it in last night. So BC's got some friends coming over. We're gonna try and carry the table out. Yep. Uh, let, me, let me show you it. Okay, the reveal. Check this bad boy out. BC, this is mad, isn't it? 800 pounds of solid <laughs> wood. I swear to you, it's gotta be over 500 pounds. It's heavy. Basically, like one of us couldn't lift this end, no way. It needs two people each end. Four people carrying it, and that's like hard to carry. And then, should we get this guy out first? Yeah. Okay, there's this table that's, again, like epic, like rough edge wood table we're gonna try and carry. Oh yeah, these are the, these are the legs. These are the legs for the, the big table. Solid steel. We need to make sure we got the right screws. I've got some, but I just don't think they're good enough screws. <laughs> so this one thing, we bring it out, diagonal, and then we shuffle it around that way, and then straight shot. Oh my gosh, this is actually good. What are you going to do up there? No, we're screwed once it gets, once the weight shifts. Dude. This is so heavy. So, so heavy. Okay, and Ma has arrived to save the day. We've got four of us now. I think we're going to be able to shift it. Alright, put it down, put it down. Oh. Wait, boys, we made we made some moves there. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Arm just breaks. <laughs> just snaps it up. One, two, three. Sit. Sit. Wait, wait, wait. Thanks, bro. Wow, of course. <laughs> we made we're it. We're neighbors now, so. Yeah. Oh, so we flipped it upside down. These are the legs. We're gonna screw in, and then uh, it's gonna go here. Oh, yeah, is this your first time here, Amar? Yeah. It's a nice pad, isn't it? It's amazing, we've shot a lot Thanks, Houston. Okay, guys, I'm rushing now to return the U-Haul truck that we used to shift all the furniture. I'm just topping it up. U-Haul's pretty cool, it's like 20 bucks for the day to hire, but then it's like a dollar per mile. But then we only drove like maybe 12, 15 miles or something, so it's a pretty good deal, pretty good deal. Okay, on the walk home, I just wanna show you this cool plant place. This is the, uh, this is one of the plants we wanna get, this cool, uh, I don't know what it is, it's like a, I don't know what plant this is, guys, let me know in the comments, but it's super beautiful. It has flowers, it's like growing up that lattice. I'm thinking we could put something like that on the roof. Oh, this is what I want the whole house to look like. Just, just like a, a paradise of plants. Check it. 
Oh my gosh, this is honestly what our house is gonna look like in a few months. Okay, so we need some screws to screw these legs in here. And we're looking for um, big enough screws basically that aren't gonna snap because the guy we bought it off said he snapped some screws in here before. So we need to go find some pretty chunky screws. And I thought this is a good opportunity to take Scout out for a walk. You wanna go for a walk, buddy? He's in the house a lot, so I think this will be fun. Scout, should we go? Should we go? Come on. I got some screws from the hardware store, big chunky ones, and they are ready, they're placed ready, and I'm gonna screw them in now. Um, yeah, that is the one. We have just got some lunch delivered and look who's arrived, Natasha and JJ. Guys, if you don't remember these guys, they we met them in Greenland on our world flight trip and they are in LA right now, so we thought we'd catch up. We just got Takaya for lunch and we just, oh yeah, also, look at these extra sofa pieces for the couch that we got. So we've got an extra three to making a full U, U shape. We reckon we can get 15 people up here. We can. <laughs> Yeah, they're perfect for planking. Yeah, we're gonna try and do a movie night for Halloween. We're gonna get the projector from downstairs and like we've got a projector screen set up here and then we can have a bunch of friends over and we've ordered a cool outdoor rug and some cool cushions and stuff. So it's slowly getting there. We've just come downstairs again to try and screw on the legs of the table and even though we got the chunkiest screws possible, when we were screwing them in, the wood is so hard it just snapped the screws. What the heck? Right, back at the hardware store. These were the type I had earlier, the wood screws. But I've just come over here and got these steel screws which are gonna be a lot stronger and then I'm gonna pre-drill a little pilot hole first, the right thickness and then they should, they should work fine. Smoking. Whoa. It's burning the engine and burning the motor. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. What the heck? I think it's a more powerful one. We're almost there, we just need to shift it a little bit that way and then right, think a little bit further that way. Yeah. We've just arrived at a fun event tonight at the YouTube space. Marco and Alex, the Vaga Bros, have invited us to the premiere of their new YouTube series. I think it's with Tasted. Who, who's it with? Tasted. Taste made. Taste made close. Um, yeah, the series is called Budget versus Baller, I think. And they've just been doing a ton of traveling and yeah, making like this proper high budget professional series. So it's gonna be cool. Okay, it's basic versus baller, not budget versus baller. Hi, yeah. yes, bro. Yo. Oh, you're looking, you're looking you suave. Doing? Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the suit <laughs> was made. Yeah. Hi, oh, yes, bro. Yeah, how are you? Good to see you. Guys, this series is going on YouTube TVs Taste made channel, right? Right. So you can't just watch on normal YouTube. No, so YouTube TV is basically like for people living in the United States, you get charged a lot of money for television. YouTube TV is what they call a skinny bundle, which means you get 50 channels for 40 bucks, and of those 50 channels, um, you get three that are digital first companies like Tastemade, The Young Turks, and Cheddar. So oh. ours is going on Tastemade, 
like basically like if you get like a smart TV you can you can like get the, the app or it goes on your like phone so it's similar to the YouTube app but you can like like for example if I watch can you watch it on your phone or not uh, yeah you can so for, oh, okay. for example this is I like to watch CNN so I can go through all my different angles uh, you can watch it on your phone if you've got an account with YouTube TV yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you sweet. get like you can start the show from the beginning like there's a bunch of stuff like Vox has shows Taste Me has shows and you basically just go down you can watch the Dodger game parts unknown from Anthony Bourdain there's all these great shows on here and um, yeah it's like on demand but you can also watch it live nice look at the girls here posing by the YouTube sign <laughs> yeah there's these tiny vegan hors d'oeuvres I think these are pretty good film's about to start soon we're just gonna do a little squad photo um, Sawyer has shown up yes bro been forever. It has been forever. You're looking swagged out. Guys. This is your new Italian style, man. <laughs> is this all from Italy? You left me in Italy too long, yeah. I like it, I, I like it. <laughs> Angelique, hey! Aggie's here. Um, right, squad photo, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do it. Hey guys, uh, I'm Jay from Tastemade. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this is the premiere of our new show, Basic vs. Baller. <laughs> I'm Alex, and we're the Vaga Brothers. Yeah. We love traveling and a little brotherly competition. So we're crossing the globe and putting our local trivia skills to the test to see who's spending 24 hours living like a baller and who's pinching pennies. This is Basic vs. Baller. Yeah! Did you have fun tonight, yeah, Alex? It was good, dude. It's good. I'm I'm surprised. It like oh, came together really it. nicely. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. It's always kind of a scary thing to do something where you let go of the the creative control and the editing decisions, but it came together really nicely. Yeah, it was a yeah. it was a fun episode, it's man. Fun. I can't I can't wait it's to watch the rest. Show, so yeah, thanks for coming. Honestly, yeah. we're stoked that you guys can make it. We are back. That was an amazing yeah. evening. Um, so cool to check out what the Vaga Bros are doing. Um, also, guys, look, we, we set up the table with some of our chairs. Um, this just is, is blowing me away, just how cool our house is starting to look. Um, it's getting there, it's getting there. I'll keep you updated. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep and catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.